Hey friends, welcome to the part 38 of this playlist. You can click the join button below this video or you can use the link in the description. Please focus link in the description because many people still ask, hey, I cannot see a link. There is a link in the description. Click that and you can opt for a cloud kernel membership and that will help you gain access to more certification content. The way the channel is structured is there will be some free content and there will be some paid content. And if you club these two together, your chances of clearing the certification becomes very high. You can hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. Believe me, you are losing on certain things if you have not subscribed. By the way, if you are wondering where is part 37, so part 37, my friend, is in the cloud kernel members area for a very small premium. You can gain that access. Now, this is the YouTube handle of this channel. You can search for shorts, playlist, videos. There are 500 plus videos, 3000 plus questions on AWS certification, Google Cloud, Azure Cloud, Snowflake, and Tableau BI. So do not wait any further because you know there are hard times coming around the corner. Make your CVs very strong and do not just limit yourselves by clearing only basic certifications. You need to go elevate your levels to intermediate as well as advanced certifications. If you have just done AWS Cloud Practitioner, nobody would pat your back, man. That is a basic, okay? That is as basic as a child learns to walk. Once you have learned to walk, mate, you should run. Once you know how to run, mate, you should jump and so on. So let us look at this question. See, there is a website, okay? And new orders, they come in a queue. That queue's name is Rabbit MQ. Rabbit MQ, that is a queue name. Where it is, this queue is running on EC2 instance in a single AZ. You see the problem here? You are running it on single AZ. That AZ goes down, some terrorist attacks or earthquake happens, you are gone, man. Your data is lost. Now, these messages are processed by different application that runs on separate EC2 instances. So, your, the queue is here, EC2 instance 1. But th that data is sent across to EC2 2. And the data is sent here. And EC2 2 processes the data. And where is it stored? This is stored in a database. And the database stores, what is that? It is a PostgreSQL database on an EC2 instance. So there is one more EC2 instance, okay? So you see the problem here, thumb rule. This is the thumb rule time, man. Thumb rule says, whenever you see a database sitting on EC2 instances, is that a good choice? It is not a good choice. Why? Because AWS is checking for your knowledge on the range of products. And what you have done is EC2, Database sitting on EC2 is a custom solution. Is there a matching product here? Yes, there is. So in the option, if I see, you know what? We should migrate the database to run on multi-AZ deployment of RDS. Why should I put a database on EC2? That's wrong. So these both the options have this. A does not have, A is saying, still put the EC2 on auto-scaling. So that is a wrong choice. And this is a wrong choice as well. It says the same thing. So you see, just by looking at one problem area, I could uh, remove options A and D from consideration. We will use the similar thumb rule for message MQ. You know what? Is there a product in AWS for queuing? Yes, man, there is a product. What is that product called? That product is called Amazon MQ. It is a fully managed service for open source message brokers. So this question, this certification is checking your knowledge on the range of products you know. So, so you see, 
at one point why did amazon invent these products or discover or not discover it it innovated and created these products why it could have just told that you have ec2 put all your application components on ec2 and do your work but no they didn't do that they created a range of products and that is what this certification is checking your knowledge on so things become easy now because b looks correct in the scheme of things because it is making use of amazon mq but c c is not making use of amazon mq it is saying i will still survive on ec2 instances but i will scale up i will use auto scaling group was you need to move away from ec2 you need to choose a product which is meant for it for example if tom cruise was born for uh, act, acting though nowadays uh, i feel that he was born for stunts he should have been a stuntman but you know he, he was fortunate enough to make fortune out of acting and stunts He's very passionate about action so that's the kind of passion which we should try to bring in our career in our work that we do so this is my final answer so buddy there is a part 37 already uploaded in the members area become a member cloud kernel member for a very small premium gain access to all of these questions see in this question what's happening is they are creating aws accounts for each business units for example you caught a finance team okay f yeah f for f for finance okay do not think of something else uh then you have an hr team okay so you caught an hr team and you caught an it team so these three teams each team will have their own aws account and it seems there was an email alert to the root email ids and it got missed so the problem is that you as a solution architect you need to ensure that future notifications are not missed future notifications must be limited to account administrators now which one of these options would work for us now if i go through the options option a this is silly what it says is if an email comes let it forward it uh let let it forward the messages that are sent and you you are forwarding it to all users in the organization that means you know every now and then all users will get alerted and they may not even Uh, need to know because they may not be directly impacted so this is kind of you are you know over communicating so over communication is not a good thing especially when you are doing it to the whole organization you know once it happened that uh, somebody had a tussle with uh, his manager and when that person resigned he uh, dropped an email to a manager upline uh, and like four or five levels up the chain and then people just thought it's foolish of this happening but then you know what it it he kept on sending emails and it was not a good thing so involving people who are not directly impacted not a good thing okay now option b seems logical it says that you configure the email addresses as distribution list yes these are the folks who need to receive it and limit this to few administrators because that is what the question says you got to limit it to administrators account administrators and they will be the one who would respond to the alerts you then configure alternate contacts using aws organization console or you can do it Uh, via a program so this looks logical this should work but let us look at c and d as well now c uh, there is a problem with c it is saying that it will configure the root email 
messages to be sent only to one administrator who is responsible. But you know what? Each account will have like there are three accounts. This is finance, HR, IT. Three accounts, three account administrators. So why would you just think about one administrator? So this is wrong. Option D, it says option D says you configure all existing AWS accounts. That means today you have these three departments, but previously you may have some more. So you still you use all existing accounts and all new accounts and configure to the same root email address. Not not a good option. Okay, why? Not a good option because it does not uh, talk about response. Who would be accountable? Uh, will these be administrators? It, it does not talk about it. So this looks as a, as a face value. It looks to be a incomplete solution. So this would be my final answer. Uh, let us look at one more in this part. See, this question is very simple. You, you got a database which is on premises and you have a database which is on AWS cloud. The data needs to migrate this way on prem to cloud. It always needs to be synced up. The moment, my friend, the moment I think about database migration, I always think about DMS. This is a service which helps you migrate databases with minimal downtime. That's my first answer. Okay. Since I have chosen DMS, I would not choose SCT because SCT is a schema conversion tool. So this would be wrong. Plus, the moment I see a word called database backups, that is wrong because database backups will do a one time backup. But what about synchronizing the data? Now you might say, hey, why are you worried about synchronizing? <laughs> My friend, because the question says it has to be synchronized at all times. If it has to be synchronized, you got to create replication. You got to create a replication. Replication is thumb rule time. You have to use replication to synchronize databases. Okay, now option E, it says that we would use a cloud watch event rule to monitor database synchronization um that is that is not in the real world we do not use it the first thing you have to do is you got to create a replication task and then after that you can monitor but since we only have to choose two answers i have already chosen my two answers so i would not choose option e so this would be my final answer i hope you got the concept and the reasoning behind this we have uploaded part 37 in the members area cloud kernel if you have not subscribed yet do so many people have passed their certification using these content so please avail this opportunity this brings us to the end of part 38 you can search youtube using this youtube handle there are so many questions so many videos playlists 500 plus videos, 3000 plus questions on AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Snowflake, Tab UBI, and so on. Make use of all of these content to successfully clear the certification exams. See you in the next 